bless you, man. It's great to see you. Tanya and Mike. And we're so happy you got to come. Ernest? Lord. Well, praise God and praise God. Well, greetings. Yeah, give me some. Brother David, you got any? Well, hello, everybody. Now, thank the Lord. It's so good to see you all on a Monday afternoon. Sister Maddie Knight was just taken to the hospital. Who? Sister Maddie Knight. We were just over to see her today. All right, we'll put Mighty on the prayer list. They're going to take her in the <coughs> hospital. Uh, she hasn't been well recently. Sister Mighty had her. I'm glad she was in church yesterday. <coughs> uh, Brother Josh Tracy went into the emergency room this afternoon, but he's out. Uh, it was a heat uh, problem, I think, when he's work. And so hot, the temperature is so hot. Anyone working outside, construction, or <coughs> those things, you can go down in a hurry in this heat. So um, let's remember Brother Josh to be all right. I think he is all right, but keep him in prayer. Came home. He is at home. Um, Brother Don Norman is still in the hospital from what I gather. I, Leroy Ware in Complex Care in Sarasota. Um, you can see the different ones in prayer on the screen that, um, you know, uh, different needs there. Um, keep Sister Marlowe and I in prayer. Uh, Sister Lambert's son-in-law, he's in the Dallas area and exposed to some of that um, protesting that's going on there. Violet in Dallas. I'm sure he's with the police department. He may be, but um, with Tyler Kenzer, he got a touch. God bless me. You're in the service, got more than a touch. You got a real anointing that came and tried to help Tyler as the anointing of God does. Brother Lima traveling, Brother John Marino, that's her son possible problems with a, a potential spot they thought might be cancerous. We don't know for sure. The Don Norman. That young man is uh, in need of prayer. Yo. And that's the Panario's son, family from Cuba. I'm not sure I'm acquainted with Dwayne Lopez. Anyone know Dwayne Lopez? I'm not sure I'm acquainted with <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, that fellow we're acquainted with, He's little Julian Mar uh, uh, Marlow. He's supposed to get his cast off tomorrow, so let's pray he can. He's supposed to get his cast mm -hmm. off his foot that was broken tomorrow, sure. so let's uh, remember little Julian that that will happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. Brother Leroy Ware, Don Merriman hasn't been in the service now for a couple weeks. Remember him? And Steve Culbert, that's Jordan, his son, always asked prayer for his father. And of course, Maddie Knight on her way to the hospital tonight. <clears throat> There's many others. There, you could fill that screen twice with um, people that are in need of prayer. Twice. Here, locally, I'm talking about three times. And uh, so on. But let's just ask God to help us. Right, and then I, you know, we always have the inward request that we don't give out, and I don't really see the need to. I don't mind, but I believe in every heart there's some needs tonight. Mm -hmm. In every heart there's needs. We live in a world of concern and care, pressure, more pressure sometimes. 
working world where we're exposed to many conditions in work right now. Something else to be a Christian and be in the work world. <clears throat> Let's pray. Can we pray in this moment? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege to come tonight and pray. We are going to attempt to convey a little bit of our inward self. We're speaking to you tonight from our closet. We've entered our closet, Lord, and we're speaking out of the closet of our heart. There's needs that we've pronounced on the screen, and there's needs that we haven't. But it doesn't really matter. You know all the needs. You hear the groaning. And your spirit searcheth the hearts to see what is the mind of the spirit to make intercession with groanings that can't be uttered. We know that the Holy Ghost can present before your throne tonight the need. Even the need is not spoken, even the need is not said. It's in every one of our hearts, every one of our spirits. Oh, God, let us not be weary to the point where we would want to be weary in well-doing. Scripture does not tell us not to be weary, knowing that we are weary in this world, and at some time we will be weary. But the real thing, God, that we don't want to do is to be weary in well-doing. We can be weary in the world weary with things about us, weary with conditions. But Lord, we don't want to be weary in well-doing because we know that we're to continue in the faith. We're to walk on. We're to endure to the end. We're to go from step to step and glory to glory, strength to strength. Lord, don't let us come near to be weary in well-doing. If we get tired in our bodies, we get tired in our minds, we get tired with dealing with circumstances, but don't let us be weary and well-doing, doing the Word of God, doing the will of God. And we pray, Lord, tonight for compassion and feeling and understanding. And we pray, Lord, for direction of the church, direction of the Holy Spirit in our life. Forgive us, Lord, for any sin our near sin are coming short in any way according to the promises of your word. Lord, let the drum beat of the church be ever upward. Don't let it become downward. Don't let it become sad, Lord. Let the bugle cry of victory be strong tonight. Let the trumpet sound. The trumpet of Zion sound in our heart, sound in our spirit. Oh, God, lift the church up collectively tonight. Lord, let a real move of God come in the families and the hearts. Oh, God, stir, Lord, stir, stir. Stir your people, Lord. Let there be a real move of the Holy Ghost, not only in the sanctuary of the church, but, Lord, in the cases we deal with of hardness and unrepentant hearts and people losing concern and all oh, the negative areas, Lord. Let there be a move of God. We're requesting, we're, we're calling, we're pleading the blood tonight. We're pleading, oh Jesus, my God, we know the devil was put under your feet 2,000 years ago. Lord, we just have to bind Satan now. Oh God, we have to finish the work. As Jesus said, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Now, Father, glorify me with the glory that I had with thee before the world was. Lord, help us to finish. Help us to complete. Lord, go through this congregation tonight. And those that are not here, that normally are here, Lord, go through the congregation, anyone that's standing in need, standing in need of help, standing in need of help from God. We pray, 
We pray that you'll hear us, that you'll see us, that you'll hear the call, hear the plea, hear the blood call, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we cast away fear, we cast away doubt, and we believe there's healing, there's healing, and we believe that the coming of Jesus is near, very near, even more near than we realize. Lord, help us to prepare and be ready that if the trumpet would sound for us individually before this night is over, oh God, you may not come collectively, but you could come for any one of us before the night is over. Oh, help us to be ready. Help us to be ready, Lord. Help us to be ready, Lord, in the right spirit, in the right attitude, studying your word, studying your word, studying your word, praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus, we love you tonight. We worship you, Lord. We lift our voices in praise. Oh, Jesus, we love you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, touch the sick, the afflicted. Touch them, Lord. Have mercy, have compassion. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, stir your people, Lord. Stir your people. Arouse your people, Lord. Arouse your people. Wake them up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said through the apostle, awake to righteousness. And sin not. You want to awake to righteousness. Knowing that the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness. Put on the armor of light. Lord, we know if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Give us power here in this room. Let us leave here changed. Let us leave here by your word changed. 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 In Jesus' precious name. Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. Your eyes are upon us. Thank you, Father. Your ears are open. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Power in the moon. I know the Lord will make a way for me. I know the Lord will make a way for me. If I
Sometimes we feel that serving God is hard, don't we? In our flesh, we feel that. We don't feel that in our victory with Christ. We feel that in our flesh. That's not really true. That's a misnomer. That's not really true that serving or giving our life to Christ is hard. Now in the flesh thinking and the weakness that we have, each one of us has. But the Apostle Paul said, but when I am weak, yes. then am I strong. Yes. So in our weakness, there is a strength. Now we don't find that immediately because the first reaction we have, since we are flesh and blood and bone, um, Jesus, you noticed, when he resurrected, he said, handle me and see. A spirit, a spirit, hath not flesh and bone. He didn't say blood as you see me have. God, his Father, is different than his Son. God is a total, he is total spirit. God is a spirit. The book of John tells us. God is a spirit. Therefore, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And I, I just got this the other day when I was going over that thought in my mind. You know, you, you can worship Jesus and be in your weakness. And he knows that you're weak when you're worshiping him. He knows that many times when we sing our first songs in church that we're not really lifted that high in the spirit. We have to move into that, mentally equip ourselves. Sometimes it takes two songs, three songs. Sometimes it takes someone speaking, someone praying. Because we're elevated then, but we're worshiping Jesus by knowledge. And we can worship him by knowledge. That he is the Christ. He is the Son of God. That's knowledge. Um, I acknowledge him. He, I have knowledge. He is the Son of God. He is the Christ. <clears throat> Peter said, but thou art the Christ, in Matthew, the 16th chapter, but thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He got that revelation, he was the Christ. When we have that revelation, I believe we have that, since we're his children, we can worship him. Here's the point. John seems to say, God is a spirit, and they that worship him, not Jesus, but God, his Father. Seems like there, you, you have to be, you can't worship God only, only when you're in the Spirit. Only. God is a Spirit. And they that worship him, that's Jehovah. He's higher. He's above Christ. You can worship Christ by knowledge, and he accepts it. Evidently, he accepts it um, because he said to Thomas, handle me and see. And Thomas literally handled the resurrected body of Jesus. He, he felt it. And John said, our hands have handled him. Our eyes have seen him. So... Um, what I'm, uh, the point, I'll move on with this because it's really not the study area, but uh, there is an elevated walk with God. Yes. Um, you have to go from <coughs> precept to precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, ever learning, ever walking, ascending. Jacob's ladder. In the Old Testament, God showed Jacob he had to 
go upward. The ladder, Jacob's ladder, and angels ascended and descended. And he showed Jacob that he was that there was a higher place. We have to continually move toward a higher place mm -hmm. in serving God. Yes. Because if not, yes. if you allow yourself, it doesn't take long for thoughts in you to stagnate your reality, your experience with God. Your mind will overcome you, your carnal mind. And, and a carnal mind is imminent.